Hi guys, the custom ROM codename Android I recently reviewed has just been upgraded to 3.6 so I thought I'd go through some of the new features that it's got. This isn't going to be a full review of the ROM so if you want that go look at the other one because I'm not going through all those features again because there is like thousands so yeah screw that noise. Um, let me get started with showing you that it actually is the ROM even if you can't tell. About phone, you can see here, codename Android 3.6.0, new build number, um, it's upgraded to the latest version of Android 4.1.1 revision 6, so this is the latest build from Google, so we are running the latest, latest and greatest. What have we got then? In the upgrade, we've got better Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, better Wi-Fi performance, better text rendering, updated kernel. They've added a Wi-Fi idle mode. You can move lock screen widgets. Okay, so let me show you this Wi-Fi idle mode. If we go into here, hit Wi-Fi, click the menu, advanced. You see this grayed out thing. It's because I've got it to always. But if you do that it becomes available. Basically it means when you turn your phone off you can change how long it's going to time out the Wi-Fi for. This could save you battery if you want to do it. So it's worth it. I leave mine on always because I like mine being connected to my Wi-Fi all the time. Okay next up we've got the lock screen widgets. Um, interface lock screen widgets and clock alignment. You can now change where the clock is so if you call it, usually it's kind of on the right now if I put it on the center lock the screen the screen, the clock is now in the center instead of to the right. You can change it to the left to the right to the center so that's one update they've done. Another one, most of them actually come in the camera app um, that's lovely, it's fourth closed I'll try that again um, so they've added here well, let's have a look you can now change the quality of your picture. They've added burst mode and timer mode. I'll give you a quick demonstration of the burst mode. I mean, this is running on a Nexus, so or a Nexus S, I should say. So the camera isn't zero shutter lag, so this is going to be a bit pointless. But I'll show you it anyway. If you can imagine this running on a Galaxy Nexus, it'd be a lot better, I think. But if you want it to do the burst mode and you really need it. You know, it can happen, you can do it for you, there you go. Five shots taken quickly as that. They've also added a timer mode, this is standard, I'm not going to go through this, you know, set 10 seconds, walk away, time, take the picture, gone. All that good stuff. Um, they've, most, they've also done like a lot of fixes, so... The Bluetooth audio streaming should be fixed across all music apps now and hardware because this kernel or this ROM I should say isn't just for this phone. It works for the Nexus 7 which if you have it enables 720p video recording on your front facing camera. And the automatic lock screen weather refresh will no longer cause freezes. So that's good. So something to do with this causing the freezes is now fixed. Um, it's running the latest kernel, uh, air kernel I should say. So, I mean it's very smooth. It's not a major update. There's some nice needed features. I don't know if this was on Android, codename Android 3.5 before, but I kind of like it. If you click here, there's a quick button to get an incognito or home tab. Those two aren't usually there, so you can just click that and bam. In private browsing, so, pretty decent. You know, you've got all the normal stuff. Google Now is all working. So, I'm sure I've missed out loads of stuff. This is just a really quick video to check out some of the quick new features of the ROM. It's meant to have loads of bug fixes. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. See you later.